Be the intersection. Not that type of intersection. What I'm talking about is being the intersection between two different skill sets or two different subjects. For example, if you're an accountant, but you also happen to know about and like art and art history, be the accountant that is really good at art history as well. Be in that middle place where not many people are. That's one example I just made up, but let me give you another example from my own experience. So when I was running my business, I had a business called Kaleidoscope Video Conferencing. We did video conferencing as a specialty because in the late 90s and early 2000s, it was a fairly difficult task to put these things together. And you had to be good at networking and you had to be good at audiovisual. And there were lots of really good companies that did networking and we certainly did networking, but we weren't necessarily the best, but we weren't the worst either. Audiovisual, same thing. We did, we were fine as an audiovisual company. We weren't necessarily the best. We weren't necessarily the worst, but we did both. And we did both fairly well. And there was very little intersection between uh, these two areas because most companies want to be a networking company and set up networks or they want to do audiovisual. And the audiovisual guys didn't know much about IP addresses and things like that back in the day. Let me give you another example from my own career. So I am a uh, teacher or instructor, and I'm also a technologist. Now, I'm probably not the best teacher in the world, but I'm probably not the worst. I'm probably not the best technologist or futurist in the world, but I'm certainly not the worst either. Once again, there's very few people that are good with technology that really wanted to step into large classrooms and get a kick out of it and enjoy it. So I'm able to fill in this gap here, and it's enabled me to have a great career, a great second career in higher education where I can teach about technology. So that's my advice to you. I'm not the only one that is giving this advice. Professor Scott Galloway says this. Be remarkable. Develop not just one area of expertise, but two skills that don't always naturally go together. Be the CFO who also understands what music should be played at your events. Be the creative director who knows how to use Excel. Just as Lint Chocolate brings together dark chocolate and chili peppers, what two attributes are you going to bring together that differentiate you? It's not easy, but I think being the intersection can help in a lot of ways. Good luck.